Hey everyone on YouTube, this is Lawlet here. I'm bringing you a quick video, a quick tutorial, how to do some cool stuff in Photoshop. Um, I'm just making this video, man. I haven't got, I'm off college today because I'm sick. I feel like just doing something productive, so I don't feel like I'm just laying here wasting my time. So, um, I already tried to make this, uh, this video once, my laptop decided to shut down on me. I was like, woohoo, that's quite cool. So, um, yeah, let's do this. So, I just started a new do um, new document, control N, the dimensions of 1920 by 1080. You know, just create a new layer, that's control shift N, or I don't think it's this button down here. Yeah, that one, this button here. Now, what we're going to do is open up the gradient tool. Click up here, get the rainbow preset, or you can make your own mode. If you want to go to difference, and uh, I don't think you need to change any of these. That's cool. So just make your first first bit gradient. Looks like a gradient, which is good. Then on the same layer, do it again, but going a different direction. See, it's starting to get this really cool psychedelic effect going on. You see, this is so cool. I just keep doing this until you find a pattern you're really happy with. I like to kind of try to keep mine symmetrical a little bit. Just it makes it look nice. So once you've got a pattern you're happy with, um, pretty happy with this and I'm gonna quickly do some random lines try to get a bit more color going on and here, there you go, now it's starting to take shape so you could either leave it at that and you could just like and subscribe to me or like my video, subscribe to me, you close the video now I'm not trying to make you like, I mean, you, got a, <laughs> you got a choice yeah, you shut up. And then what you could do now is you could get the smudge tool, get decent brush size. So for my document size, I'm going to do 40. Just start, you know, making little swivel patterns or whatever patterns you like. My laptop's not up to the task, so it's just a little bit laggy. So I'm not going to do too much of this. But just enough to you know get the effect in there. Really hippie it up. Let's get this little bit over here. And uh let's get this bit here. You could try different strengths as well. Currently got mine at 50, but you could try a lower strength, we could try a higher strength. But now we've got this cool little pattern going on. You can take it to the next level. Create a new <coughs> Sorry about that. Create a new layer. Click the hit here or D to take you back to your default colours. Just alt backspace on that layer. Make it all black. You have filter, render fibers you can see it's really cool like fiber things going on here you see you can change these settings kind of makes it into noise not very nice you change the strength I'm going to put the strength up quite high I'm going to have on that just click clicking randomize until it goes to how you like it yeah I like that that's nice oh Dang. I accidentally clicked enter. Oh, that's nice as well. Make sure you don't click enter, make sure you click OK. And then we're going to do overlay. Or you could just try with um, other blending modes. Just go through them. See, multiply is quite nice. <laughs> that looks quite trippy. I 
it overlay just kind of brings those whites out quite a lot. And the difference is cool. I think I might keep that. That looks nice. It kind of changes your pattern a little bit and inverts it, I think. Yeah, control I on this layer to invert it to keep your original pattern. And now these little the white lines now if we go back to normal quickly. See that white? That looks really nice actually, it's a really nice texture. They kinda of like create an inverted little bits wherever they go down. So that's really nice. What you could do now, you could go to your adjustments, you haven't got them, you could just go to window, adjustments. You go to vibrance, you bring the vibrance up, you don't want to bring it down, it ruins the effect. I wouldn't oversaturate it, it's kind of a bit too powerful. So I'm going to leave that at zero, but the vibrance just kind of makes the colours a bit more, a bit more vibrant, which is really nice. You can load up curves as well. So kind of you know, get the effect how you like it. I like that actually, it kind of makes it into solid colours which is pretty nice. And I think I could put a bit of brightness and contrast on that. Don't bring that down really. Bring it up to about that. Hard to even see the difference right now but I'm going to bring the contrast up. And um can't really think of anything else you could do. You could do like do some random shapes on here. I'll show you how to do that quickly. Create a new layer. Get a circle. Hold shift for a perfect circle. You've got your little circle selection there now. Now which alt backspace, fill that in. Then we could go here, gradient overlay. Get the rainbow gradient. Like that. Let's put it like that. That's quite cool. Move that. There we go. That's quite nice. You kind of got a little random shape here. You can go to filter, distort, distort, spear eyes. And that kind of brings it out a bit. Wait, I think you actually have to. At the rasterized layer type. Wow, I feel stupid. Distort, spare eyes again. There you go. Kind of makes it a bit more bulgy. Or you can have it going the other way. So spare eyes. Have it go back in. So it kind of goes into the design. Which is quite cool, actually, like that. Then what you could also do, you could um, go back to the gradient tool. If you try to get a similar effect as we already got going on in here. As long as you still got the selection on there. If you haven't, let's say you've deselected it, hold control and click on click on the image here and it reselects it. So yeah, I'm happy with this pattern right here. It's gonna bring the smudge tool to it. Smudge a fire. I'm going to give that a second. <clears throat> there we go. I'll drag it behind or well, underneath these adjustment layers so it gets the same effect. And you kind of got, you know, a nice little circle. I'm going to put that. I'm actually going to put it under this as well. There we go. So it's now part of the design. And it kind of blends in down there, which is really nice. And the colors kind of abstract away from the other ones here so you can see there's a circle here but it's kind of nicely hidden and that's quite nice so that's going to be the end of our video hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video when I'm not dying see ya